Previously on Rob X. You guys had superpowers. Yes, it's true. We did have superpowers. Pointing his hand up to the ceiling and summoning a storm, would it give every single of us main characters or main character heroes superpowers like yours? And now the thrilling conclusion to Rob X. Part two. Oh, what happened last night? My eyes feel funny. Oh. Well, I guess the power thing didn't work. All we got was a nasty electrical charge. Still, my eyes feel kind of funny. Yeah, but it feels like I've been staring into the sun for several hours. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Well, go on. Let's have a look and see what's going- Wait, Jesus, woman! Close your eyes! You got laser vision? What did I get laser vision? Rob, you forgot 101 in the X-Men series. Only superhero-themed genes or mutant powers, as they say in the comic, only go to Pacific or even random people. And by the looks of it, it randomly went into your sister. Not fair! Be cautious, Rob. She is technically like a pantry dish of every superpower known to the comic universe. If she even sneezes, burps, or anything, she can reveal a new power in a single bound. We should remove ourselves from the firing range. What does that mean? It means we have to be very careful in front of her until she gets the proper training. Because even the most slightest sneeze can cause... Uh, uh, uh... So can you help us? It was my greatest chance to train something that isn't based off Lego. It is a great chance to train old and not Lego characters. It is an honour to train all of you, but I think I've got my work cut out for you, Robina. Really? You have been given a gift of every superpower known to the toy world. Laser vision, super strength, telekinesis, and even the power to summon toys from the world of the Empire. It is a true gift for the rest of you. I will train you in other ways, so you can be the next heroes. And if I can't, you can try doing heroism in your own way. You just have to make sure you please me. Correct? Good. Let's begin. First lesson I must teach you is teleportation. You must know your limit, but I must know which one of you can do the teleportation. Rob! You told me that when you were slightly a bit behind the task, you had your own teleportation powers. Is that correct? Correct. You must show me your teleportation skills. The rest of you, show me too. Can you do these teleportation skills? Yes or no? Good, good. I see you still got your powers. Wherever you are. Hmm. Wonder where they are. Ah! <coughs> well, at least it wasn't that. At least it wasn't your sister, Rob. Um, I think you just teleported right over your head. Oh, please, no. Oh! My arm! Ugh. I never knew teleportation was so horrific. Yeah, it was at first, but you get used to it, actually. Just make sure you don't get struck by that skull. Skull? What skull? Oh, I forgot. That's the second stage of teleportation. You have to get used to a horrible skull that scares you face to face. I think it's supposed to be a symbol of death or something. Scarred for life, thanks to your stupid story. All right, Robina. All I want you to do is use your telekinesis powers to lift those toy cars that Max Totrick has pulled from the toy shed a few minutes ago. Okay? 
Gotcha. Right, begin! Are you sure this will work, sir? Definitely. I have all my heart and talent on this one single person. Then again, maybe I can see your point. <sighs> it's not fair. Why couldn't I have been having superpowers? <sighs> Don't worry about it. You'll probably get that degree or license or whatever you're hoping to get. <sighs> really? I don't know. Well, just think logically. You don't end up being one of those superheroes that has no backstory or hope. They'll end up just wandering through the house for all eternity. Just hoping, yes and I mean hoping, to find who they're looking for. Oh, that doesn't make any, that does not make any sense. Well, at least we don't have to. Crumbs! Look! There he is! Why is he standing there in a, in a very robust pose? Never mind about that. I can use my new teleportation skills to scare the living daylights out of him. Don't worry, Rob. I've got you. Oh, no. we got to do something. I don't know what to do. All I can do is summon lightning. Probably lightning wouldn't do anything to him with that, with that much strength. I know what I must do. What? But... But you haven't been trained. I must do what I can. For the future of this show, and to the future of Rob, and all... Hey! Ugly! Meet your... And that is how Rob X was born. Tune in next week to find out the next thrilling episode of this new team of heroes, the Rob X Squad. Or we call it the Rob X. See you for the next episode tomorrow.